good afternoon everyone welcome to the session hope all you are doing well so today the subject is designing barcode labels for items a step by step guide so this is the subject related to the barcode designing and configuration in this subject we will learn something about the barcode configuration in busy so you know that in busy we are conducting the weekly webinars on the important topic of the busy software so it will help you to improve your bc knowledge as well as your business operation let us begin the session myself suraj and the session objectives are what is barcode what is barcode label item barcode label printing from bc and let us see the practical demo after that finally you have a question and answer session with me you have any any types of query related to this subject you can unmute you chat the message in chat box so these are the session objectives of the session so now first of all we will discuss that what is barcode so barcode is consisting of bars and spaces most of the branded product even some of the unbranded product also they have the some barcode stickers so that barcode stickers it consists of bars and spaces and it is a machine readable representation of numeral numeric and characters so it consists of numeric and characters value today the stripes as as shown below on packages of products sold at supermarkets convenience stores and other stores are ubiqu ubiquitous okay these are the barcodes a barcode consists of bars and the spaces of varying width that can be read with an optical barcode scanner so without having the optical barcode scanner we cannot read the values of this stickering so this is all about the barcode barcode is one type of unique identification uh, value it consists of unique identification value and that is helpful to read your product inventory items or uh, inventory stock items in your software so that is called the called as barcode in upcoming next slide yeah, let us see, uh, discuss about what is barcode label so a barcode label is a printed sticker or a tag that contains a barcode allowing machines to quickly accurately read and interpret the interpret the information often used for the product identification and tracking a barcode label it having various informations like company address item information item rate information and even the I have a barcode value also there barcode space and bars that value also printed in the particular sticker so this consists of different uh, various type of information and it can help you to identify your product information in your uh, in your transaction so that is all about barcode label and this barcode label nowadays the in a market there are many types of uh, barcode labels available in various uh, sizes so a4 size also that is available a roll paper also available so the cut sheet paper that is called as a cut sheet roll paper it is nothing but cut sheet paper so one of the top brand nova z they are providing this type of roll paper uh, barcode labels in the market other than this you have some of the a4 size barcode label also so based on the customer require requirement or your requirement you can purchase that kind of label but busy it can support all types of label sizes and one more important factor that is a, that is a difference between a thermal printer and barcode printer the thermal printer that is used for the used to print the uh, invoices uh, or something like that but barcode printer is different and thermal printer is different so thermal printer it uh, it prints only the invoices or etc but barcode printer it have certain different types of settings in that barcode printer so that is why barcoding purpose or barcode printing purpose we are using the barcode printer but i before that i said you that we have some of the a4 size barcode label for that barcode stickering you can use the, uh, the laser printer also the laser printer also you can print the uh, a4 size barcode label stickers in your computer so after that uh, in next slide let us see the item barcode label printing from busy so item barcode printing in busy is very simple and effective in busy software we have the barcode label uh, printing in two types that is called simple barcode and another is the composite barcode you you just need to configure the barcode labels and you are ready to read and print the barcodes busy has provided a complete item barcode printing add on using which you can create configure barcode label and then print the barcode from the item master or from the various transaction enter 
So here in busy software, you have the two types of barcode, simple and composite barcode. Simple barcode, it is nothing but uh, with the help of item alias code, you can generate your barcode. But in a composite barcode, you can create some of the, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, tag some of other field also. For example, alias name plus you wants to add one your one of your optional field or uh, some of the item group name etc so item name plus item group name that in a, that uh, type of barcode uh, value you required means that is called as composite barcode so that both the barcode values uh, you can generate from the busy and other than this you have another two options called in busy directly you can generate up in barcode values or else uh, you can import the excel data to the software then you can generate the barcode label here we will see the steps to be followed so first step you need to follow for the design the barcode label first of all you have to design your barcode sticker from uh, for busy next step is print the barcode label after designing the barcode you can print the barcode from busy so these are the two steps we need to follow for uh, for uh, barcode management with busy and these are the barcode types that is available item alias type barcode item alias it is nothing but product code each and every item it consists some of the item code or item alias so that on that basis you can generate your barcode number or barcode sticker so it can identifies the product information when you scan that product scan that QR, scan that barcode value so here the another point is item serial number item serial is uh, serial number is uh, specially uh, this feature is made for the electrical and electronics consumable goods so on that product it consists of serial number uh, option or serial number if they are if that product is having then we we are using this item serial number option so on that basis you can manage the imei number you can track the imei number or you can track the serial number along with the software and third is item batch number this item batch number is this feature is useful for the uh, perishable goods food industries etc so each and every item it having their own batch number based on the production uh, the particular uh, company that can, they can decide some of the batch numbers for the product on the basis of batch number that barcode value will be generated so after the scanning of the barcode value so it automatically reflect the batch number along with the product name and fourth factor is the parameterized barcode number. This feature is specially made for the footwear industry as well as the textile industry. Some other industry also they are using the parameterized feature because in this feature you can manage the inventory items with the different attributes. Attributes it's nothing but uh, it, it may be have some of the, the, pro the product may be have some of other uh, sizes different different sizes different different colors and different different uh, article numbers or brands etc so single product you can define the multiple attributes that is called as a parameters that parameterized barcode number also we have the you can able to generate from the busy software and another is item plus serial number so previously i uh, said you that something about the composite barcode similarly here that item plus serial number barcode type is also available so if you selected this type of barcode then what happened item name it generate item name value plus the serial number value both can be uh, considered as a barcode value so that is why you have the option of item plus serial number and then next option is item plus batch number if you required only item batch number then you can select the third option or else you can select the item plus batch number in this type of barcode you can able to generate item name plus batch number as a value and uh, next is item plus barcode number so if you wants to manage item name plus barcode number something like barcode number it may it is something like 001 002 003 what anything it might may, maybe so you can uh, consider item name plus barcode number here and another thing here is item plus parameter previously we had discussed about the parameterized barcode number in a fourth num fourth row so now it is of item plus parameter so this will be your barcode value and next finally that composite barcode composite barcode you can only decide that which type of barcode value you need for example you need the five character as a item alias name and five character as a item group name or five characters are character as a item price so on that basis you can decide the compo that particular structure after creation of the structure that composite barcode can be 
generate from PC. So let us uh, move further for the next slide. So here you can see the printing options that is available in busy. So first of all, you can have the option to print the barcode from item, item master directly. For example, we uh, you have the op, uh, you have the item of uh, Basumati rice in your uh, inventory go down uh, 50 kg or 50 bag. So you, if you want to print the particular pr product Basumati rice uh, bar, uh, barcode for the Basumati rice, so you can generate it from your item master. So then other, another option is a barcode from the voucher after invert of the goods after purchasing of goods so busy will ask you to generate the barcode from there itself if you press the yes button over there so then automatically how much quantity you have been purchased on that basis that label has to be printed from the software and the third point is print the barcode from the current stock status for example that Basumati rice, we have a 50 number of bags in our godon. So then 50 number of label have been printed from the software. That is called current stock status basis. The barcode can be generated. And next is print barcode from the Excel sheet. Uh, that Excel sheet means uh, it is a external data, not the busy data. You can main, ma maintain the data in your Excel sheet. That is something like item name, item alias name, item price, whatever you, you want. You can uh, add all the details in your Excel sheet. Then you configure that Excel sheet data into the software. So then you can import the data into the uh, from Excel to the software. Then you can generate a barcode. But this generate this generated generated barcode, it is an, a not a, not uh, not, not considered as a busy data it is considered as a excel data because it is a excel sheet data okay so this is the feature also available externally also you can print from your barcode and the next option is print barcode from the barcode number serial number and batch number something like uh, if you are you managing your inventory with the bcn number serial number batch number then this feature will help you to print your barcode label Next point is enable the item barcode printing option in voucher series configuration. So these are the printing options we are having busy. Apart from that, we have one more option in our voucher series configuration screen. So there you can enable the print barcode, print item barcode option for uh, for the voucher. So then what happened after purchasing, uh, after the purchase voucher entry, it can ask you to print the barcode label. You can press the enter button and define the number of label, how much you want. So on that basis, the barcode can be generated. So now let us see the practical demo in busy. I hope uh, this particular practical demo will, it can help you a lot. So let us move, move to the software. So this is the software I can open in uh, my side. This is the busy software. I have created one sample data in my for myself. This company name is called barcode. And in this software, I can show you how to configure the barcode and what all are the features that is available. First of all, I move to the administration. So administration here, I have the master menu. Under the master menu, we have uh, you have the option of uh, that uh, item option. So open any of one, or any one of the item here. So for example, let me see, to select this item called item barcode alias code. So this one I can select alias. You know that you know that alias alias. It is nothing but it's the item code of the product. You can define the alias code here. This is the field to define the alias code for the product. Once you define the alias code for the product here, then you can save it. So on that alias code, this can help you to identify this particular product. The alias name, it can help you to identify the product. We cannot suggest you to use the item name because why? Because item name, that character is uh, very big. Item name, it consists of more than 40 characters. Uh, that is a 30 character, 40 characters. So if you using this item name field, then uh, while who is scanning that particular barcode level, then you might be get the something something some issues so that is the reason we are uh, suggest you suggest you to go for the item alias option so if you are uh, define the alias field then you can save it after saving this particular uh, data then you can come to the add on menu so one question may be arise in your mind that is why the add on uh, menu it consists the barcode printing why you are given uh, this feature into somewhere like uh, utilities menu or uh, something some other place why because be be previously this item barcode feature it was a chargeable feature but now it is a fully free feature it is comes along with your basic standard and enterprise module so but two three years before that item barcode this feature is not available in busy so at that time the user has to be buy for the 
barcode uh, printing feature as a chargeable on a chargeable basis that is why it is kept in a add on menu so now you go to the add on menu and here you can see the configure uh, barcode option in this particular option if you uh, click on this uh, configure barcode label option you may get this type of screen here you can create a number of barcode label stickers designs no issue first of all i am creating this one add format option so here i can give alias name or i can have the option to modify the name item alias let me change the name as item alias so you can see the name here we have the option to delete format modify format also we have the backup and restore format suppose you are you, you are created one design for here then you can read the particular design or write the design write means you can take a backup of this design copy that backup to the some other company of busy software then you can restore that particular barcode label that is also available here so after adding the name of the uh, uh, design name of the barcode design you can go to the configure format option here you can see that in top the that name is uh, coming item alias that name i am given from myself so that name is coming here so here you can see the two see that two option is available busy data and excel sheet busy data it is nothing but we are generating you are generating the uh, that particular barcode values from the software but in excel data i said you before it is for the external data suppose the customer previously they are using some other software in that software they are having some of the item name and item barcode values after that they purchase the busy software then they wants to import that data into the into the soft busy software so on that time this excel sheet will be helpful for him then then they can easily read the, the previously sticked barcode in the busy software also so now let me discuss with this busy data so here you can select the busy data and in in that barcode type you can see that item only and composite barcode item only it is nothing but the item only means the barcode value has been generated on the basis of item alias so that is why the item only i am selected here another thing is here is composite the composite means you can define the structure whatever you want for example let me show you here composite also uh, otherwise i can show you first item only then i can show you the composite here i can tell take the uh, type as a item only some other type also uh, comes in in this drop down if we if you enable the parameter feature serial number feature and batch number feature etc then some uh, other 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 type of barcode also comes here in the drop down list after selecting the barcode type here you can see the sheet type the sheet type will be two types one is custom and another is predefined custom it is nothing but uh, that is a roll paper that roll paper you know that that is a roll paper type of paper it is available in the market especially that roll paper is made for the barcode label purpose barcode printing purpose and that can be called as a custom paper and if it is a predefined paper it means you can print the predefined barcode label from your laser printer also because this printer can be made for the laser printer purpose and it this printer will be similar to the a4 size xerox paper here you can see the predefined uh, that uh, branded paper sizes that already inbuilt available in a software first of all you can see the a4 that is the size of the paper and the sheet of the sheet size of the paper and 16 that is called a 16 16 is the label total number of label that is uh, that, that is uh, available in that sheet 16 sheet that is a 16 label you can print from this particular design um, and hundreds hundred it is a, it is a called as a one one particular box you can get the 100 rolls 100 100 sheets so one one particular lot you can get the 100 sheet so this type of sheet sizes you can get default from busy it is a free loaded sizer now yeah, let me select the a4 this one 24 i can select and after that you can see the scale mode there is a two scale mode available inches and mm so suppose if you want mm you can select mm then printer configuration is also there this is also very important what happened in uh, most of the industries they are having one laser printer for their invoice printing purpose and another uh, printer is for the barcode printing purpose on that time if the user they can allocate the barcode printer here then barcode print it can be printed into the barcode printer and the invoice copy it can print into the invoice printer there is a laser printer 
So automatically the software will route the barcode design to the barcode printer and invoice copy to the uh, that laser printer. So that is why this configuration it can help you a lot. Now let us move further. Here you can see that this one paper type you cannot able to change here because it is a cut sheet. Cut sheet it is nothing but A4 sheet. You know that A4 sheet it is a, not a continuous sheet. It is a cut sheet. That is the reason you cannot be uh, cannot able to change this particular paper type option. Also, you can see the number of labels in one row. In A4 sheet, the first row it having it consists of three number of label. So these all these all are the settings. It can be it can be sense the software automatically. No need to change it anything from our side. So it can be freely uh, free uh, loaded settings. So after selecting these paper sizes and all those things, then all software it can senses the setting automatically. Next, you can see the number of rows in a one page. For example, how many rows that paper it consists that should be comes automatically here. You can see that eight number of rows it is having and top margin also it can come automatically. If you wants to make any changes in a top margin or left margin, then you can change in this particular screen. Other than this, the label height, the label height and width you can allocate from here. For example, if you have been if you are selected the custom paper of the label, then that time you need to define the label height and the width properly. If sometime what happened, the user mentioned the label height and width, it is a, a, a wrong data, wrong entry, that that time the design, it cannot suitable for the printing purpose. So design, it cannot be matched for your printing purpose. That is the reason it is very important point. You make a note of this, the label height and width, you can mention correctly, accurately. I'm saying about in custom custom paper uh, case. I'm not saying about the free defined paper case. I'm saying about the custom paper case. So you can calculate through the scale and and uh, and then you can mention the particular height and width of the design uh, that particular label. Other than this, you have the horizontal gap. Horizontal gap, it is nothing but so side by side, the three label is there one, two, three in a one row. Assume that you in a one row, there is a three label. Each label, they have something gap. Each label will have the some some something 2.5 mm or 2.5 mm gap. That is called as horizontal gap. The horizontal gap also comes automatically in a free defined case. But in a custom case, custom paper sizes, custom label sizes, you need to define the horizontal gap after calculating it, it with your uh, scale. And also for the vertical gap, vertical gap, it is nothing but there is a small gap. It is a uh, it is available in the particular roll paper uh, above the row and below the row. There, there may be some of the gap is there that is called as vertical gap. That vertical gap also you can define here. So it is all are the fields that is a user defined fields. The user have to be calculate or the scale then they have to define here. But in a free defined case, that is a no need to calculate anything. It will comes automatically. So after the configuration, you can see that uh, configure label option. Just to go to the configure label option and then you can see the configuration window. In this window, automatically that uh, particular uh, field are visible. Company name field, barcode field, MRP field. Other than this field, you can add some other field by pressing this add control option. After clicking this add control option, you may you can get this type of fields in fields in this particular designing screen here you can see that so next you can if you want to increase the size of this particular control uh, this uh, this particular uh, grid you can increase the size so this particular field you can increase the size other than this if you sometime what happened while you dragging this type of uh, this particular uh, controls to the some other places then if it uh, if it uh, beyond the particular designing uh, designing space, if it move to the uh, move to the uh, out out of the particular designing space, then you can get this type of error messages. So that is the reason. So here uh, in this case, you have the adjustment manually also. Suppose if you want to adjust this particular company name, little bit top and little bit left, then what you have to do, you have to click here, click here. One thing you can do the you can drag the particular particular option like this. Otherwise, you can select the particular field and come to the top space here. If you if you if you specify the top margin uh, more then what happened, you can you can uh, get the space in top. 
So let me let me decrease the top margin here to five zero. Now you can see this particular field little bit it move move far move uh, for the top. Again, if you want to move it uh, something uh, top, then you can change the value two six zero like this. So another the another option here we have that uh, you can uh, define the left mod left also. You can uh, you can. Uh, just you can uh, drag that particular value or particular field to the left side also. For example, 2.50. You can see the 2.50. Rather than this, you have the option called height. Height of the label. Height. It means uh, one second. I can I can uh, remove this particular top and left left once once I can remove this and let me drag the particular field here. So now you can see automatically the height will be changing after dragging this particular field that automatically height is going high height height also changing automatically so this type of setting is you need to con, uh, do it from your side and other than this you have the option called width you can adjust the width because now the company name is taking a more space in this particular design that is the reason you can reduce the size of the design here you can see or I can do it this way. So this is actually width actually. Width I need 50. I need width 50, but I need height uh, only. I want to reduce 4.0. Now you can see I reduce the 4.0 as a height. So then automatically this field is reduced. This field size is reduced. So this type of height width left top configuration is there. Next, you can uh, use the horizontal and vertical text alignment. Suppose the company, the, they have a limited space in their design. They can use this type of vertical and uh, uh, vertical placement of text, op text option. Then the text will be converted into the vertical mode. So this type of vertical and horizontal text configuration that is available here. Again, you can do, the, do, do this as a horizontal and do this. Okay. So that horizontal and vertical configuration is available. And other than this, you have the alignment option. Alignment option here. Make it as a left alignment, make it as a right alignment, make it as a center alignment. So everything is available here. Other than this, you have the draw box. Draw box, it is nothing but draw the box for this particular field. For example, company name. The company name, that is the heading of the design. So you can draw the box for that. So that is why you have the draw box option. Next is color change option is there. You can change the color of the draw color of the particular field and the font name. Also, there are many fonts are readily available. For example, if you want to add a font for the uh, company name, we suggest you to take it as a, a, a aerial font. That is, will be better. Actually, it's clarity also good and it will uh, consume uh, less, uh, less uh, ink. Also, you can use the aerial narrow font this will be the better font we will suggest you to uh, designing and other than this you have the font style regular italic bold bold italic etc so you can do it as a bold or you can do it as a italic so all type of font style is available and you can increase the font also for example five is the default font for the company name if you wants to increase the font you can increase as a eight also after enter the eight you can uh, see that the company name this particular value font is increased so this type of font style font size it can be available here and strike out also there you can see the strike out option if you want to use the strike out option you can use it underline option is also there for the company name that will be that that can be printed uh, as a underline you can enable this option and maximum character so how many characters that is uh, required for the particular field you can allocate here maximum it is 40 so if you want only 30 character you can define 30 character that much only it can print for the software so these are the configuration these are the particular style font style font size colors left right top alignment width alignment everything is available in this particular screen and other than these let me uh, tell you something about the types so for example, here, here I am added company name. Now what I do, I can uh, drag this particular barcode to here and I can match this barcode, barcode from left to right. 
how i did the same for the company name so similarly i want to do do for the barcode value also so that is the reason i can click here and i can copy this particular setting 3.595 and you can again click the barcode field then you can paste it here before pasting this you can make it as a top margin left margin also so top margin i need a 1.3 one okay i can make it as a 1.5 it's very less actually three i can make it as a three no four 3.80 that will be better i think okay 3.80 i make uh, i make the top margin as a 3.80 and left margin i should make it as a zero and here i can paste that height of that particular previous uh, company name height this one i can copy and i can paste it here sometime it is not copy 3.595 3.595 this will be the value bar height can be less than 3.81 okay okay let me let me decrease the size no okay the bar height can be uh, 3.810 so that dialog box will be appeared so then i can adjust the barcode sticker barcode value for here then after that you can add the relevant fields such as mrp mrp if you want to reduce the mrp you can reduce from here also otherwise you can reduce the height of the field again you can add one more control for here and here you need if you need the particular uh, data field and you can add the data field from the list here you can see the type of the data field type as data field i selected and i need sales price here so i just selected sale price if you want to increase the field you can increase or you can uh, want you wants to change the caption name you can change the caption name also here you have the caption name changing option sale price presenter so now you can see the sale price change uh, that caption has been changed again if you want to add any other control you can add it from here so you can see so now i need one qr code so that the reason i added for the control here so if you wants to add any qr code then you can select as a field as a qr code and which field you want to print in your qr code you can select from the list for now i want to print for my uh, item name so that will be uh, configured here so that uh, item name will be printed into the qr code again uh, if i want to add any new parameter then you can add it from here something like uh, you want to add the image then you can select as a image and here you have the other image option go to the desktop and where you kept the image you can select that image it can be inserted here so these are the barcode qr code data field image plain text plain text everything you can enter you everything you can add from here so this will be the configuration we have it in busy other than this you have one more option here for example sometime in a barcode you want to print the rupees currency value so that prompt is called rupees peridian that also available for example this font name is called rupees peridian you can see the rupees symbol here so i can just increase the size of the field you can see the rupees symbol so all types of configuration that is available you can do it for yourself as per your need here one warning is coming height and width of the control should be same height and width of the control should be same invalid image path okay let me select the image properly i can select this one okay save it so this is the designing of item barcode in busy now i design something of the item uh, barcode with help of item alias similarly we are able to design the barcode of some other uh, uh, important feature also for example if you enable the parameter feature in busy then you can see the parameter feature here you can create some of the parameter like color and size after that you can see the settings of default bcn generation mode as automatic and manual automatic it means software it can generates the barcode automatically based on your settings for that you need to define the prefix as well as the number of character for the barcode number etc continuous number also you have the option and item parameter value value wise also you can create the structure then you, then also you can generate the barcode here you can save the settings after that when you go for the add on menu item barcode gen configuration menu here you can see the you can create one new format parameter and create the configure the format and you can see the option here P previously it was not there now the bcn only is available item plus bcn is available and also item plus parameter is also available so if you selected item plus uh, parameter then item name plus parameter it should be treated as a 
barcode value but if you selected bcn only then it should be treated as a barcode number is only treated for the barcode value now what we will do we will enter one purchase voucher so let me enter one purchase voucher here number four the item is this one uh, two quantity i purchased and here the color is red size is excel rate is comes automatically and you can see the barcode number this is the automatic barcoding numbering i am using and here i can select another product black size is s 200 is the value and infvf0005 this one is coming automatically so after adding this i can save the purchase voucher and here i can i want to show one more thing for example if you are using the manual barcode numbering then barcode number is your first column here then you need to scan the barcode for the item here or then that barcode will be considered as a product product barcode now we are generating the barcode from automatically from busy that is the reason that barcode can generate automatically and it should be treated as a last column but in a manual column is not like that it should be comes in a first column so let me show you here you can see the enable manual barcode okay now let me just copy this and i can delete the row now you can see that barcode number will comes automatically first first column you have to scan that product product value here then define the color size etc then save the data so this is called manual barcode now this is the automatic barcode i am using after saving this particular purchase voucher then it is ask you to print the barcode here you can see the barcode related uh, item and quantity etc then you can reset reset also option is there for example if you have something like 100 sticker here 100 quantity then you want to reset the quantity then you can reset and you can enter the printable quantity like uh, 10 quantity 20 quantity like that after that you can print the label once you print the label it can be print like this export all right so it can be print like this so this this can be uh, this design can be made for the item alias so now let me show you if you wants to design the item design for the parameter then you need to create one more new design then you can go to the configuration and here you can select the item plus parameter or bcn only or item only whatever you want then you can go for the configuration menu then automatically this busy can sense the configurations then it can load the default configuration like this it's a company name it is a barcode value it is item name it is parameter value it is parameter 2 value it is mrp value etc automatically busy software can sense the settings for the parameter configuration so once you configure the such relevant configuration save it after saving this you can have the option to print directly from the voucher after saving the voucher it can ask you to print otherwise you can go to the add-on menu itself you have the option to print barcode from item master directly you can print the barcode from item master all item also you can print one item also you can print or selected item also you can print otherwise you have the print from voucher you can directly print the barcode from the voucher in the add-on menu also here you can see that export okay all right here you can see the settings actually that uh, already previously i have opened some pile so that is the reason it is not working would you like to open yes so this this design you can see here uh, so i can i can select the format here you have the option to select the format also purchase all parameters configure format parameters let me select as a parameter okay here i can select as a parameter then i can save it print from voucher purchase this one i want parameter okay so you can see the item name quantity and parameters also so on the basis of parameter the barcode number can be generated from business. so this is the way you can generate the barcode here you can see the design the barcode value is coming parameter one is coming parameter two is coming mrp also printing similar setting is work for the serial number case also you can go to the inventory and here you can enable the serial number wise details and uh, do the necessary relevant settings for the serial numbers where uh, you if you want to manage serial number warranty you can enable sale price you can enable after enable this particular serial number configurations from busy you can go to the configuration of barcode and create a new format serial number and after adding this particular uh, format name go to the configuration part here you have the 
barcode type as item plus serial number so previously it was not there after enabling the serial number feature it is coming so you can see the serial number only or serial number item plus serial number so then you select the barcode type and then you can see the particular field it is automatically sensing for the busy designing window so software is automatically sensing that settings serial number item serial number it is showing here if you wants to adjust if you want to make any adjustment or something like that you can do it if you are set manually or if you want to add any some different uh, any some important fields here you can add it so after adding these uh, uh, particular fields etc then this can be printed from the software here you have multiple types of printing option print from item master print from a voucher print from current stock you can also print from your current stock uh, status and print from excel sheet print from bcn serial number batch number etc here you can type the serial number and you can uh, you can select here you can uh, type the one second item serial number is not found if you have the serial number then only it can print otherwise it, it is not print so after adding the serial number you can directly print it from here or else you can have the option to print from the batch number also one more important point here is uh, auto generate item barcode or alias some of the cases the customer they have not defined the item alias code for the product on that time this utility it can help you to generate the item alias name automatically but keep keep in mind before doing this particular setting you need to take one set of backup from your end and then also you can tick this particular option or at existing item alias you can keep this as a no okay because some of the cases customer they have defined 50 percent product for they have mentioned the alias name for the 50 percent of the product if they mentioned here as a yes then what happened already they saved the data some of the data that data also disturbed that is the reason we request you to keep it as a no and then you can generate the alias then automatically alias code will be saved in your inventory item master so this is the item code barcode printing and similarly uh, you can composite you can have the option to, of composite barcode also the composite barcode also i can show you shortly and uh, this is the format name of the composite barcode the composite barcode you need to select the composite here and create the structure for the composite barcode go to the configuration add the structure one of the new structure there will be two types of format type excel data and busy data now you are uh, uh, managing the composite barcode with busy data you can use the busy data otherwise excel data there is a two types of structure type one is a fixed length another is a delimited length the fixed length it means the field is doesn't have any uh, uh, fixed width the, the field is having fixed width the field is fixed width then you should select the fixed width if the field is not fixed then you need to select the delimited uh, delimited components and also in another important point here is you have to define one delimited symbol also uh, hash symbol comma or whatever you want you can define the particular symbol here uh, after that the, you can define the uh, component also for example if you need uh, three components you can define three components two components means you can define two components totally maximum 10 number of components you can define for for the composite barcode for example uh, if my first component i am selected name second component i selected alias name so item name plus alias name so that type of barcode value can be generated in the label so this is called as a composite barcode after uh, configuring this con composite barcode you can uh, print the composite barcode from busy so now you can uh, select the composite barcode format here number of copies how much you want and which product you want to print the composite barcode that you can decide and uh, next is uh, okay press okay barcode printed from those format barcode type is item only so one second i just go to the barcode composite format once again fixed component okay save here i can select the busy data save it print from item master composite barcode one item one item okay barcode will be printed for those format having barcode type item only okay so this feature is not to work for the composite barcode because uh, i am using for the item master case so in this particular printing option is work for only item only case composite it cannot work composite you can do it for the voucher voucher level so here you can select the composite bar and press ok button export it now you can see here uh, this will be the composite barcode let us see 
okay this is the way you can print the composite barcode the configuration it can be uh, you, you can be do it like that only composite barcode you have to manage this type of only after configuring this barcode the then you can print the labels another point here is after that when you scanning the barcode from busy you need to enable one important option here that is called pos in your standard and enterprise window you have this pos option even standard uh, in in your uh, even in a basic edition also you can enable this particular barcode scanning feature no issue so here you can see the pos of you can enable here and uh, one more important point i want to tell you that composite barcode reading purpose you need to enable here here enable composite barcode once you enable this enable composite option here then only that barcode value can be read from the software otherwise it cannot be read so this is the composite barcode reading setting for the busy and next you can define the sales voucher uh, that uh, voucher series configuration you go to the so voucher series configuration enable the pos option you have option called pick item names from barcode and pick serial number from barcode and consolidated item name while saving so these are the three important settings it can help you for your barcode scanning purpose you can enable these three settings if you required or otherwise if you are not using this serial number uh, settings in busy you can disable that no issue and here you have the priority also priority one is item priority two is serial number so this type of setting you need to do it for your end after that you can come to the transaction sales entry suppose if you are scanning any product from uh, for the party you can scan it here inf 0000 so let me check the barcode value for so this is the item just know i purchased from busy so this is a 321 item parameter parameter three to parameter i am disabled so that is the reason parameter value it is not showing no problem let me show you that 321 so after scanning this type of uh, barcode values automatically item can identify by the software and that's relevant informations it can be loaded into the grid so this is called as barcode configuration and in busy you have all types of such barcode related settings so you can do it from your end so this is the subject of today's session if you have uh, any query you can ask in a chat box otherwise you can call to our 24 into 7 help desk number the number is given here 828282 8282 and also even you can write a mail to us support at the rate busy thank you for joining the session